a breakthrough in the mission to space and the U of A at the center of it all. ABC 15's Jamie Warren shows us how researchers are making history and getting one step closer to answering the question, are we alone in the universe? This morning I woke up and, and literally it was an event that you put on the calendar 10 years ago and you're just like, I can't believe it's finally here. Over a decade in the making. U of A leading the way to send a spacecraft to an asteroid named Bennu. From its assembly. Three, two, one. To its launch. To this point, NASA scientists have only studied asteroids from a distance. But now they're getting their first view up close and personal. I think it's relief, uh, excitement, and, and um, anxious to get on with the job. Dante Loretta at U of A is in charge of the out of this world endeavor that still has a long way to go. This is how that mission is all unfolding. This orange line shows how that spacecraft made its way to Bennu. It's now circling the asteroid and will continue to for the next 18 months before it finds a spot to grab a sample. That sample will eventually be brought back to Earth when Osiris Rex lands in Utah in 2023. Loretta says it's an educational opportunity that can bring us closer to answering these questions. Where did we come from? What is our future? Are we alone in the universe? Which makes this new accomplishment something he'll cherish forever. I want to freeze it in my brain. So, you know, decades from now, when I'm looking back on the highlights of my life, I remember the day you arrived at the asteroid. Jamie Warren, ABC 15, Arizona. Just fascinating, isn't it? Yeah, involves a lot of math, I would think. <laughs> yes, you know, one would something think. Something the size of an SUV several million miles away, several years into the future. Just amazing.